Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of Slingers TV, the official news and highlights show of your Singapore Slingers. I'm Elliot Danker and in this episode, we bring you highlights of our Slingers exploits down under where they got the better of the Indonesia national team. All this at the inaugural Cable Beach Invitational. Also, NBA superstar Kobe Bryant was in town and he held a coaching clinic. Our boys had the chance to meet him. We're going to top all of that off with footage of our boys at the Cozy Cot Love Fest 2011. What's that? Well, it is a charity speed dating event. Last but not least, Wei Long, Desmond, Hanbin, they were all backstage at the Avalon at Large Go series. All coming up on this week's show. In preparation for the upcoming SEA Games and the next ASEAN Basketball League season, the Singapore Slingers travelled to Rome, Western Australia to take part in the Cable Beach Invitational. Both the players and the staff were well prepared for it and they made it clear before leaving Changi Airport. This is a great opportunity for us. We're playing international quality professional teams and it's a good opportunity for both the, the Slingers new players, the old players and the national team players. Um, to experience the type of atmosphere and the quality opponents will play while we're there. I'm feeling all pumped up uh, visiting Australia for the first time in my life. I'm also looking forward to playing with the top players in uh, Australia as well as other uh, parts of the world. Uh, try to learn as much as I can and get experience from them. Going to Broom Tournament is a really a great experience for, uh, for the whole team. And it's a preparation for our next season um, ABL, the ASEAN Basketball League and I hope to gain experience from this tournament and transfer everything to the next season. This is a very good tournament for us and then because um, it actually lets us gain experience and then uh, in preparation for our SEA Games as well as our APL season. So I think uh, with this, I think we hope that the team will actually pu uh, be pumped up and then um, get prepared to, to play in the SEA Games and get some medals. Unfortunately for our boys, their first match against the Perth Wildcats was called off due to bad weather. But that didn't stop the players from dazzling the crowd with a shooting contest. Shengi start as he coolly sank his shot from the halfway line. This is not something you know in practice right. a lot, but that is a terrific <laughs> shot. By number 12 from the Slingers. So. The Slingers were able to play in their matchup against the Indonesian national team the next afternoon, thrashing their opponents 68-44. to Jamal Brown led all scorers with 16 points and added 7 rebounds, while Rob Wainwright played a well-rounded game and ended up with 11 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals and 4 blocks. Guard Desmond Oh also scored in double figures with 10 points. That was beautifully done! On Shen Yu, the jumper, he goes to ground, but the shot goes through. Into the corner, Wong. Went long. Too long, but no worries for the slingers. The pretty black one in the group, the smooth villain under fire, because I'm better than the world. Well, right now we head back to Singapore to Marina Bay Sands to be exact, where a certain shooting guard held court for our local youngsters. Still don't know what I'm talking about? Well, it's Kobe Bryant. Yes, the NBA superstar shooting guard was in town mid-September and conducted a basketball clinic for 52 youths under the purview of Singapore's Ministry of Community Development, Youth and Sports and 12 junior athletes from the Basketball Association of Singapore. Um, excited to be here, obviously. This is uh, great for everybody to come out. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, having a good time with some of the kids here and playing some basketball on this beautiful rooftop. So, that being said, let's get started, I guess. Kobe gave pointers on various fundamentals, including how to do proper push-ups and sit-ups and the correct jump shooting technique. Though the Singapore under-17 boys and girls were the ones getting trained by Kobe, Desmond, Hanbin and Sheng Yu were lucky enough to hang out with the five-time NBA champion for an afternoon and witness what it takes to be an NBA superstar. Down, up, down, up. Oh, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, where you going? Five more, come on. One, two, three, four. <laughs> ah, 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 one more. And five, there you go, there you go. Okay. 
From an NBA superstar to some lovebirds, yes, in this edition of Slinger's Whole Court, our guys got in the act of trying to win a fair maiden's heart. Oh, all in the name of charity, of course. Stephen Weilong and Sheng Yu headed down to Orchard Central to take part in Love Fest 2011, Cozy Cot's speed dating event, all ready to dazzle the ladies and melt their hearts. Same thing as him. Oh, oh you're his friend, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Very good friend. We play basketball. We, we, we actually we see we see each other every day. Well, we're not entirely sure how our boys did, so let's hear from them. Hi, um, I'm Stephen Ku. I'm here at Orchard Centre for the charity speed dating event. It's a speed dating, definitely, so I get to meet a lot of girls, but I'm blindfold until the last one and I get to see them. They will donate $20 for charity and they get to participate in this speed event to meet me. <laughs> I totally have fun for this session and then it's good. I think uh, you guys should come and try. If you guys would like to, uh, it was a very pleasurable experience uh, getting to know more people and sharing stories about our lives, interesting events uh, we do, and it's a very enjoyable experience. Uh, I can feel that love is in the air. <laughs> now, apart from causing the ladies to swoon at Love Fest 2011, our guys were also at the South Crystal Pavilion at Marina Bay Sands for another event the Avalon at Large Go during the F1 Race Week. Weilong, Hanbin and Desmond got to meet some international stars like Ludacris, Sander Van Doom and Benny Benassi. Here are some clips from that night. It has been great so far. Look at the crowd. It's already 2 a.m. and there's still so many people queuing up to go in. So let's find out from Wei Long and Des, how did they find the event? The crowds are awesome and then the crowd inside are totally crazy, you know? Well, I will have a chance to go to backstage and meet up LM and Hill and Luna Chris face to face. And that ends our day as a media and we'd like to thank Avalon for inviting us over. Woo! Well, it looks like our guys had a lot of fun over at the Avalon and so did we on this episode of Slingers TV. Well, that's all the time we have for this show. When we return for the next edition of Slingers TV, we'll tell you how our guys did over at the China Invitational, as well as how they fared at the Southeast Asian Games. For more information on the Singapore Slingers, visit www.singaporeslingers.com. Till next time, go Slingers!